Hi everyone, it's Krista Q. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am actually getting to film during the daytime today. I cannot tell you guys how exciting it is. My kids are back in school. Um, I guess we'll see how long that lasts with everything going on with COVID, but my kids are masked up and know to wash and sanitize their hands and I have my fingers crossed that they'll be able to get vaccinated soon. So I'm hoping that the year isn't a total bust like last year. Anyway, this video is one I'm very, very excited to film because with it being mid-August going into September right now, it is time for me to melt my carnival scents. And if you know me, carnival scents are some of my favorite of the entire year. So I'm actually gonna jump right in because I've got a decent sized little melting basket. Um, as usual, I will not get through all of this because there's just a lot in here. And this is, I'd like to say this is a monthly or even a six week melting basket, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long I'll be pulling from this stuff. So this may last through the end of September or it may only last two weeks. Who knows? Anyway, let's start with bags. Okay, this was a, well, if I can show you guys, a Bath and Body Works candle, like a three wick that I chopped up. And again, I can show you guys a video on how I do that if you'd like. Sorry, this angle is really weird. Anyway, I can show you guys a video on how I do that if you're interested. Um, leave a comment down below if that's something you wanna see. But I mean, in general, I pop them in the freezer the candle pops out from the jar and then you just chop it up and put it in a bakery bag or, you know, a poly bag. This next one is from Vintage Chic Scents. This is Carnival Cakes. It says sugar, cookie dough, graham crackers, and kettle corn. I am really excited to melt that one. This one is actually, this is also from VCS. Let me see if I can kind of that in half. This was a couple of larger shapes that I chopped and put in a bag together because I love these scents together. This is Sanderson Sisters, which is green apple, caramel, candy, corn, marshmallow, and Autumn in Salem, which is pumpkin donuts dusted with cinnamon and sugar. And if you kind of look, there's two different colors there because again, I took two different kinds of shapes and uh, cut them up and put them together. The inspiration from that is not mine though. She had poured a, like a layered loaf. Um, if you guys have been around in the wax community for a while, Kirby used to do these loaves that had uh, embeds in them. And one year I got one that was Autumn and Salem and Sanderson sisters together. So that's where I got the idea. By the way, it is a million degrees right now here in Kentucky, but Starting this weekend, it's gonna cool off and it's gonna go into like the low 80s, which is fantastic because I will feel less weird about melting my crumble scents. This is a chopped up loaf and it is in Jackie O's Vanilla Wafers and that's vanilla bean cake topped, well, it should say topped with whipped marshmallows and vanilla wafers. Next, I have two from the Fusion, like, I guess you'd say sub brand. It's like part of the whole Sensationals family. It's a retail wax. I got these at a Meyer when I was in Lexington last. I have pretzel cone and pralines and vanilla churro bites. These smell like some other Sensational scents to me, but I am not, I'm not so entrenched in retail wax that I can tell you like what's a dupe for what, so I really have no idea. But they're good, and I'm excited to melt them. Um, from Super Tarts, I have Stranger Things, and let me turn it upside down so you can see Waffle Cone, Nilla Wafers, Upside Down Cherry Cake, and Cola. I love this one, but it's so strong, so I've only melted one piece so far like ever and that's an older label so you can tell I've had that one for a while. April 
This is from Super Tarts as well, newer label. It is ginger ale, sponge sugar, marshmallows, and mac apple. Honestly, this is just like a sweet, yeah, sweet apple ginger ale scent. It's really, it's not necessarily carnival, but it's great for this like transition from summer into fall, in my opinion. And if you guys hear thumping, my cats are here. My kids are gone, but my cats are here, so. From Scentsy, I've got a little bit left of apple butter frosting. Oh, I don't know what that little speck is. Huh. I guess it's from throwing it in this bag. I don't know. Sorry, guys. This is what you get when your uh, YouTube lapse friend has ADD. <laughs> And another one from Scentsy. This is Churro Churro. This one hasn't come back in a couple years and I'm sad because I like this. I actually like to mix this with apple butter frosting. And then my cat has decided it's time to eat her food as loudly as possible, but that's okay. From L3 Waxy Wonders, this is Diet Starts Monday. And that is Cotton Candy Frosting, Sugar Cookie Royale, Santa's on Keto, and Sugared Shortbread. From Handworks, I have two. I have Apple Strudel, and that one is rum soaked raisins with slivered spiced apples and pears rolled in a flaky sweet dough and covered in vanilla sauce. That font's a little hard for me to read. And then this one is Blackberry Butter Brickle, which is buttery almond cookie crust spread with blackberry jam and sprinkled with brown sugar cookie bits. Again, those are not necessarily caramel, caramel, carnival scents, but they are like good transition from uh, summer to fall with the like fruit and the bakery. Ooh, but this one's a carnival scent and it's beautiful. This one is from the bathing garden. Look at this ginormous part and it's gorgeous. And it is in, the little card is still in there. It's in Victorian Midway. I should have looked up the notes, but you guys know I'm not real great for that. It's wonderful though. It's like a nice, gently spiced kind of carnival type scent. Here are two from Mainstays. Oh, there's my key from my one from the bathing garden salted caramel butterscotch and apple cider donut I have tons of both of these so I'm just kind of ready to melt a little bit of each another from L3 this one is Santa's on keto and that is vanilla ice cream vanilla wafer vanilla cookies and brown sugar butter cookies so bakery but a light vanilla bakery, not super spicy in your face. From Rose Girls, we have Carbs in Cookie Land. Also from Rose Girls, we have Pretzel Monster Noel, and that's like uh, her monster cookie pretzel and vanilla bean Noel. From K Scented Melts, I have Funnel Cake. This is one of the best funnel cake scents ever, ever. So I got a decent amount of it when I ordered from her last. From Sensationals, Oatmeal Cookie. This one was from the Blast from the Past collection. I like it, it's a little spicy on its own, but when I mix it with other bakery, it's really nice. It'll be better for fall and winter, but I wanted to go ahead and try some, some blending. This is just apple pumpkin from Mainstays. It smells very similar to like Yankee or Bath and Body pumpkin apple or apple pumpkin. This is one I had gotten on clearance a while back. It's called Welcome Home and it is sugared apple cinnamon. It's just a nice, sweet, very, very slightly spiced apple. Not very spicy at all. Two more from the bathing garden, and these are amazing ones for this time of year. Salted caramel popcorn and clowning around. This one is a favorite. And two more from the bathing garden. I have 
Cola Float and Maple Syrup and Yellow Cake. Both really yummy and both perfect for this time of year. A couple more clamshells. Three. I have the new Cookies and Cream from Sensationals. This one's good. It's not like my favorite thing ever, but it's not bad. One I got on clearance a year or two ago. This is Apple and Spice from Better Homes and Gardens, and it's kind of a generic spiced apple scent. It's really good blended with things, I think. And also from Better Homes and Gardens in the new label style, this is orange and cinnamon rolls. And if you are a vendor wax melter, this is kind of like a knockoff version of it from Super Tarts, in my opinion. So there's that. Um, this is not labeled, but it's also in horribly rough shape. But this is a Blossom Square, I think they're called, from VCS, and it's just in Sanderson Sisters, which it's that's a caramel apple scent, so it's good for this time of year. This is from That Smell Good Shop. It is Southern Fried Apples. Cinnamon sugar coated red apples deep fried to a golden brown. Okay, I've got a couple from Glitterati here. I've got Nutty Caramel Apple, and that's pretty much what it says. I've got, this one's kind of falling apart, I've got Double Caramel Orange Crumb Cake. I like uh, orange bakery and apple bakery and stuff in the, the early fall, late summer. And then like the best scent from Glitterati, hands down, which is also perfect for this time of year, and that is County Fair. This is one of my favorite bakery scents of all time. And not if, but when, when I get on the Glitterati uh, customs list again one year, I will order like a billion chunks of that or just like bags. All right, I have two from Dessa's in her little uh, donuts. I have Pretzel Bliss, which is chewy pretzel, caramel sauce, and buttery vanilla glaze. And I have Haunted Carnival, which is apple fritters, churros, pretzels, and caramel sauce. I like both of these and I am looking forward to melting them. Just have a couple more things, guys. All right, also from Dessa's, I have funnel cake, which is sweet fried dough and confection sugar. I have Main Street Sweets, which is funnel cake, cotton candy, confection, and marshmallow tails. That one has the weird marshmallow in it, so I'm hoping the other scents will cover it up. I have Funfetti Donuts, which is fried pastry dough, cotton candy glaze, and sugar sprinkles. That one just smells like um, cotton candy bakery to me. And then I have hot pretzels, which is soft, doughy pretzel, butter, and salt. I think this one is even better than Pretzel Bliss, actually. I wish I had like switched the formats I got them in, but you live and learn. All right, um, candles from the keeping room. This one's getting old. I have butter brickle ice cream, just a tart and a half of that. And I have Tiffany's and Mr. Squirrel. Just a little sample. From Waxidents, I have French Bakery, which is French baguettes, sugar milk, vanilla, and whipped cream. From my local vendor, I have Farm Stand Apple Bath and Body Works type. This one's getting a little discolored, so I need to go ahead and melt that. And then my last three things here are from Sugar and Spice. I have cake and ice cream. That's like a birthday, like vanilla cake and vanilla ice cream type situation. I have State Fair funnel cakes for obvious reasons this month. And then last but not least, I have funnel cake and waffle cone. And that's it. That's my entire melting basket for this. Like I said, I have no idea. This could be like 
two weeks and then I get bored of this or it could be six weeks and then I wait till October to switch my melts again. I really have no idea, but uh, I will obviously film a new video whenever I switch out my basket. But thank you guys so much for being here. Um, as I said, I've got some changes coming to my channel as soon as I can get in the swing of things a little better, but thank you guys for bearing with me in the meantime and until next time, thank you for stopping by.